baking dish. We're just gonna put some foil right on the inside. I know it doesn't look that pretty, but the reason I do this so that way you can just pull it right out. You don't have to worry about it sticking or digging it out of there, which is a pain in the butt. You don't wanna have to do that. So we're gonna put this in here, our ugly foil. And I always save the butter wrapper when I'm doing something like this. That way you can just swipe it right in the bottom to grease it. Right here I have my little mini food processor. It's really tiny, but trust me, it does the job when you're working in small batches. To that I'm gonna add in some flour, all-purpose flour, some white sugar, and a little pinch of salt. Pop on the top, and we're gonna process that a few times just to get everything combined. And three quarter cups of toasted coconut. And if you want to find out how to toast the coconut, you can go to my Starbucks Frappuccino video and I show you in there. It's real easy. You just throw it in the oven. I hope all this stuff fits in here. <laughs> can you tell I'm lazy? I didn't want to drag out the big food processor. I do have one, but it's downstairs. I didn't have to like bring it upstairs. Maybe I should have done that. Oh well, this is going to work out. And then I have six tablespoons of butter and I cut it into small little tiny cubes because we're going to pulse it in the food processor and make our little, like I said, crust. Okay, I want to check it to see if it's done. Let me see. It should be at the right consistency by now. Okay, a little bit longer. It's still not sticking all the way. You want it to stick and form a dough. So let's pulse it a few more times. Careful, careful, careful. Big clots in the kitchen, especially me. When I say careful, I'm referring to myself. Okay. And then we're going to put it right on our butcher block here. Okay, and I'm just going to form this into a bowl. Coconut dough and our ugly little aluminum foil. We're just going to press that down right into the bottom. Make sure it's nice and even. Then we're going to bake it at 350 degrees for 25 minutes until it gets a nice golden crust. Now we're going to make our delicious filling. So I'm going to combine two eggs. Do everything in the food processor, no mixer, and then we're going to do some white sugar, some lemon juice, fresh squeezed, it's about three quarters of a cup, a little bit more actually because I like it really tart, I get that nice citrus flavor, and then we're going to do some fresh lemon peel that I just grated with a microplane, a little more than one tablespoon, and we're going to add a little bit of salt to bring our flavors together, <laughs> and then a little bit of powder powder. <laughs> Baking powder. Oh my god, when am I talking about powder? It's too late. And then we're going to add in a little bit of all-purpose flour. Perfect. Yum. Mmm, I can smell the coconut baking in the oven. I can't wait to pour this in and finish it off. We're in business. Our crust just came out of the oven and we're going to pour that lemon batter right over the top while it's still hot. And keep your oven at 350 degrees. We're going to bake that for another 30 minutes until the lemon batter sets. And we're going to cut this into bars. Grab some powdered sugar. And it's still very fragile, so I'm going to wait a minute until I divide it up and put it in my gift boxes. Actually, more than a minute, probably like 20 minutes until it cools completely. Oh my god, the crust on these bars is so delicious. So I'm just going to carefully put them in my little bakery box. And they're different sizes, a little bit rustic. That's okay. Hopefully they make it to where they're supposed to get. It's supposed to be a gift. I don't eat them before then. Hmm. I can't stop eating this coconut crust. The little ends that fell off, those are mine. So we're going to package this up. And there's your beautiful little lemon bars as a nice gift. And if your bars happen to crumble, all you have to do, don't worry, just cut them into little cubes, put a toothpick in the middle, and then you have little mini dessert bites.